Sitting there, the brand new show from Amazon Prime. And when I saw the trace for this, like, I'm, I'm a fan of the spy genre. I like Kingsman, clearly, a massive Bond fan. And, you know, it, you know enjoyed this franchise. And, you know, a fan of Long Kiss Goodnight and True Lies. And, you know, all these type of spy films. So I'm like, I'm a fan of the spy genre. So I checked the trailer out. And I was like, okay. It's not to reinvent the wheel. I mean, how many times that we have seen the amnesia plot of a spy, you know, Long Kiss Goodnight and the Jason Bourne films, where the entire the, the entire franchise is wrapped around the idea of this guy doesn't know who he is, and it's revealed that he's a spy at the end. Um, I mean, how many times have we seen that? But you know, you're watching it and you're like, oh. This is going to be, this looks fun. This looks like a, a neat, laid back, have a, you know, shove the popcorn in your face every time for the 40 minutes, which I was, I was quite surprised how short these episodes are. They, they're not Disney Plus short. They're not like 30 minutes. They're like 40. They're like 40 minutes long. And you realize, okay, you got the credits, you got the previously on such and such, and you got the opening credits. Oh my God, it's like 35 minutes. <laughs> it's a 35 minute episode. But, but, I was like, it's Wuzo Brothers, once again, sp- fan of the spy genre, and, and, you know, with Madden, I'll, you know, check this out. And I'm watching it, and it's literally what I thought it would be. You know, I, it's, is it the best wit and dialogue? No. Is it, you know, the best spy thing ever? No, I mean, that's still seen way out. Oh, back to Bob. But, it's just a fun time. Like, when it opens with the train, they, you know, they do the whole, it's a spy movie, so let's open with a massive action sequence, right? And uh, it's on the train. It's always on the train. And it's fun. It's, it's this nice, you know, even though I won't lie, when it comes to the hand-to-hand fight scenes, it does fall, and it could easily be like, there's a fight scene on, on, on a, um, you know, like a train bathroom. And it's, you know, it's one of the, like, the big ones where, like, the, the toilet seat's over here, but on the other side is the sink. No mess with a guy with glasses, because you never know, uh, their pointy ends might be, um, might, we might stab you with the, <laughs> uh, proven by that by that fight, but the the thing is, because of the tight space, it does fall in the, into the quick cuts, and uh, and it feels like every cut needs to have, like, every time that a fist comes around, you need to do a cut, and every hit is a cut, and it's like, that's, no, just, just, no, it, it does fall in that category, but, when, in episode two, when we have a couple of action sequences, that's when, okay, you know, it's not going to be all, you know, ongoing thing. There's something at the beginning, and then there's, like, the, the one at the end um, of the episode. And, um, but it's, I was like, this is good, this is great, yeah, I'm in, getting into it. And the, the idea of Citadel, why the show is called Citadel, um, I mean, Citadel is the organization, and they're meant to be the goody goods. They're meant to be like, you know, MI6, CIA, they all crap, but we're the ones who do do the right thing until there's one who until you get the one corrupt spy, right? And um I'm like, this is interesting and and the world Asian idea, I'm like I am the the world building of our city girl I might find quite interesting as well a part of it. The issue it feels like because it is six episodes, it is gonna be very um, I don't say loosely, but they're going to really try to just make it as swoon line as it can. Definitely, because if you start do if seriously, if you're trying to do the big giant like this is going to whack your mind of how it's working. You just you got guys, you got six episodes. Yeah. Sure, it's the second most expensive Amazon Prime show. Because it's 300 mil for the entire show. And that's 50 mil per episode. Number one is the, you know, Wings of Power. But, we're 350. And it's splitting, it's splitting that number to 
800 uh, to, to, to eight, eight episodes. So, um, I'm like, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, I, I'm like, I like the performances. Um, staying juicy is always great, as always. There's a, you know, the emotional counter moment where it's like, okay, you, you know, Wizard Man is going back into the spy game because, because his family and, and, you know, these agents are going to be like, we don't care that you don't remember who we are. We're just going to kill everyone that you love. You know, I'm like, okay, I'm into that. Not actually the story, but I'm a gauge towards Wish the Man's character. Um, it's just, yeah, it's fun. It's, it's just a fun time. And um, it's just, I am quite, it is kind of interesting. Like any t episode, any episode of television that isn't like, 45 min minutes onwards, we are all like, huh, that's short, what gives, but, but yeah, I mean, the dialogue's not the greatest, it is that type of dialogue where, like, it's very on the nose, it's very on this, but, I, uh, you know, you have the, the villain who's like, the you know, the government bureaucrat who's, but, you know, it's all about like, give me the briefcase, it's all around, surrounded by this briefcase, and that, it's just, yeah, I'm enjoying it, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying the show so far, um, and yeah, it's just, <laughs> watching the, oh, and, episode 2 is even shorter, I just realized, it's not 35, it's like, 30 minutes or 33 minutes because they got the um this season on in this you know like the season trailer um but anyway but here's the thing knowing that the big plan with this show is to have multiple versions of this like we got the english speaking version which is this but then the plan is it's the same basically different countries remaking the same show and, you know, using the same script and the same story and the same dialogue the same everything, but having their own spin towards it. Um, so, like, a, a show that speaks on different cultures and, and that type of thing. And, you know, it'll be interesting. You know, clearly with the uh, English-speaking version, they decided to go for the big action route versus uh, the big blockbuster route. You know, you can't wait. I can't wait to see the freaking shark with the freaking laser beams with the attached to their heads. Uh, but also, you have, um, you know, but they're going to have different cultures. We make it the same show. And so you have a serious, maybe something, some, a serious scene turning comedic and, and the, whatever fits in, into that director star, whoever's taking it. Like, you know, they're going to have a Middle Eastern version or a, 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 a Europe version, like in French or one in Italian and one's in India, one in um, in Korea, where wherever the the countries are, um, which that that that's a that is a neat way. That's a neat way to get like, hey, here's the same story, but here's a couple of actors that they know in that who are big in those specific regions and and all that. So yeah, but yeah, I'm enjoying the show. Recommend it. Yeah, you know, just don't expect you know. Don't expect Game of Thrones or whatever. Just pff, oddly enough, I just mentioned Game of Thrones and you know Ned Stark said this, but you know, don't expect Game of Thrones. Just it's it's the turning your not turning your brain, but you know, a relaxful show. It's the ah, I think it's work today. What's to watch? Oh, what's in it though? And you're just gonna 